Hi, my name is Carrie O'Connor and I'm co-owner of Mission Wellness. This video will give you a look into what a healthy plate looks like. I'll share three different plates that are based on scientific data to be the best for optimal health. If your plate doesn't currently look like a plate that I share, don't stress. Just begin making small changes to your current eating habits and you will notice your plate improving. Over time, you will have transformed your meal and improved your overall health. Before sharing the three plates, let's first discuss the four main food groups, proteins, vegetables, carbohydrates, and fats, all of which you can combine together to make a healthy, well-balanced meal. When it comes to building a healthy meal, we recommend that you start with your protein, then bulk up with vegetables, and finally round out your meal with a small amount of carbohydrates and healthy fats. You will want to start by building your meal around quality proteins. Proteins can help improve your appetite by reducing the level of your hunger hormone ghrelin and reducing the level of your satiety hormone liptin. They help you feel fuller with less food and stay satisfied for longer while reducing your cravings and late night snacking. Proteins boost your metabolism, increasing the number of calories that you burn each day and helps with weight loss and more importantly helps you keep that weight off long term. Protein forms the building blocks of muscles, helping you to build muscle and strength. It also helps to provide muscle loss while dieting and as you get older. Protein can also help improve your bone health by helping reduce the risk of osteoporosis and fracture. It's been shown that people who eat protein tend to have better bone health as they age and stay fitter longer. Protein also shows to lower blood pressure and possibly helps with other risk factors uh, for heart disease. Protein also helps the body repair tissue and organs, speeding up recovery after illness and injury. So choose protein superfoods that are protein dense, providing the significant amount of protein for reasonable serving or calorie amount. Choose proteins that are minimally processed, single ingredient foods whenever possible, and commonly found or easily included in a normal healthy diet. These include our meats like beef, lamb, pork, and game, poultry like chicken, turkey, duck, and eggs, fish, seafood and shellfish, dairy products like milk, cottage cheese, plain yogurt, and protein powder, and plant-based proteins like beans, peas, protein powder, tofu, and edamame. A quick guide to serving size for protein is our palm of our hand. Women typically need one serving, of protein while men typically would be two servings. Next up, colorful vegetables. Vegetables help you feel full, improve digestion, and help you stay hydrated due to their high fiber and water content. They make weight loss and weight maintenance easier by displacing higher calorie foods and helping you consume less calories. They also help you avoid nutrient deficiencies, reduce your risk of disease, boost your immune system, lower inflammation, improve recovery and performance, and generally raise your overall level of health due to being rich in essential vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants, and phytonutrients. Vegetables are lower calorie, low starch carbs and more fibrous kinds of vegetables opposed to our smart carb choices like potatoes and pumpkins that are higher calorie, starchier vegetables that we'll talk about next. Aim for a variety of colors when choosing your vegetables as each provides its own unique health benefits. Choose to eat minimally processed single ingredient foods whenever possible. A quick guide to serving size for vegetables is the size of your fist, Women typically need one serving where men need two. Next up are our smart carbs. These are our body's main source of energy. They help you fuel the brain, the kidneys, the heart muscle, and our central nervous system. They aid in digestion. They help keep us feeling fuller longer and help keep the blood cholesterol in check. Sources of smart carbs are our starchy vegetables like butternut squash, potatoes, pumpkins, and sweet potato, our whole grains like barley, oats, quinoa, rice, sprouted grains and breads, 
our legumes like beans, chickpeas, lentils, and peas, and all of our fruits. These superstar foods are carbohydrate dense and provide a significant amount of carbohydrates per reasonable serving size or calorie amount, as opposed to the low calorie, low starch, and more fibrous kinds of carbs that we have listed in our colorful vegetables. Smart carbs are high in fiber so that they digest slower and are more friendly to blood sugar, hormones, satiety level, and digestion. They're nutritionally dense, containing other vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients that are contribute to our good health. They're minimally processed single ingredient foods whenever possible. A quick guide to serving size for carbohydrates is one cupped handful. Women typically need one serving and men typically need two servings per meal. Last up, healthy fats. To help you recover faster, nourish fatty tissues like the brain, the eyes, and cell membranes. They help you absorb vitamins like vitamin A, D, and K, and even help you lose fat by helping you regulate appetite and satiety hormones. Sources of healthy fats are our oils like avocado, coconut, fish oil, and olive oil, any type of nut, seeds like chia flax, pumpkin, and sunflower, and miscellaneous items like avocado, butter, ghee, coconut, olives, and nut butter. Our superstar fats are fat dense and provide a significant amount of fat per reasonable serving size and calorie amount. Nutritionally dense, containing other vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients that contribute to good health. They're minimally processed single ingredient foods whenever possible and commonly found or easily included in a normal healthy diet. A quick guide to servings of our healthy fats is a thumb. Women typically need one serving per meal and men two. So now that we covered all the food groups or categories, let's move on to what the plate should actually look like. This is the anytime plate and it's recommended for every meal except post-exercise. As you can see, most of the plate is full of nutrient-dense, high-fiber, low-calorie vegetables. A quarter of the plate is our lean protein source, and an eighth of the plate is our healthy fat. The drink of choice is water or tea. If you are a small person, it is suggested that you use a small plate and a large plate if you're a larger person. You should be mindful during your meal, eating slowly, and putting your fork down when you're 80% full. You should minimize starchy carbs until after exercise, which is when the body uses them most efficiently. And most often you should be choosing whole less processed foods. Up next is the post-workout plate. This meal should be your largest of the day. This plate helps us take advantage of the body's metabolic response to exercise. It includes starchy carbohydrates and proteins, which is great during times of increased glucose tolerance during post-workout exercise periods. We also advise a mix of vegetables and fruits. You'll notice there isn't much fat here. A higher fat meal post-workout slows the digestion and assimilation of protein and carbohydrates. We recommend getting most dietary fat during our anytime meals and most dietary carbohydrates during post-workout meals. Keep in mind we're not suggesting you avoid fat, just minimizing added fat. Notice that the post-workout portion is slightly larger as this adds a small side dish of starchy carbohydrates on top of a full plate of protein and fruits and vegetables. Of course, one should also use a small or large plate based on body size. In terms of food selection, the post-workout plate is still based on whole, unprocessed foods. Last up is the plant-based eating plate. This plate typically limits or avoids animal products. It includes half the plate of a wide variety of non-starchy vegetables combined with a quarter of the plate of lean protein and an eighth of the plate of each healthy fat and starch. You should also include a small amount of fruit to meet your energy needs. And as with all meals, regardless of timing and type, adjust plate size and total intake to body size and energy needs and stop eating at 80% full.